Hey everybody, this video is going to show how you can create your own custom templates that you can put into the Unreal Engine startup screen. In this case, I'm setting up a MetaHuman template so that all of the plugins I need and everything else that I use for live link and such with MetaHumans is already in the project when I start it up. So then I don't have to wait for those plugins and restarts after I add a MetaHuman to the project. So let's get started. So the first thing is that there is a folder in your Unreal Engine installation folder called template templates and that's where you're going to put the project so I've already done this once and that's how this is in there so I'm just going to cancel that and delete what I've done in the past delete so that will take care of that and while I'm going ahead to uh, purge out the recycle bin let's go ahead into the launcher and fire this up again just to make sure that uh, I've gotten rid of that template project and we'll go through the process of setting it up okay Sure enough, deleting that folder gets rid of that template and we're ready to go. So I've got an existing project ready. This has been based on the MetaHuman lighting and I've got a MetaHuman in here. So all the plugins that I need are set up, Live Link, Ficon, Faceware, all that stuff is ready to roll. So now what I can do is turn this into a template. I have a few things that I wanna set up first. And one is that all these templates have an icon that shows up here, as well as a preview image that shows up here. So I want to set those up. I'm going to go to my Unreal folder here. I'm sorry, my Unreal Engine and uh, Alt Print Screen. So now I've captured that into my clipboard. And then I have Affinity Photo installed here. So what I'm going to do is open up a couple of template files that exist for us. So I'm going to file open. And in the Unreal Engine installation under templates, there is a TP blank. And inside that, there is a media folder. And inside that, there's a pair of PNGs. So I'm going to select both of these and open them up. So here is the preview image. So I will go ahead and control V to paste that uh, screen grab in there. Uh, I'll use the move tool to position this and size that so it looks somewhat interesting. And there we go and enter and okay and zoom in and we're good with that and uh, while i'm at it i'll have that control c copy that and go to the png uh, for the icon and let's go ahead and move that again and i'm gonna have to zoom out quite a bit there we are and let's position that and ah, that's good enough so this will be my icon and this will be my preview so i'm going to file export this and i want to put that into my project folder i'm going to keep it as a png export and this is where i got the files originally let me go back to my uh, project folder and so let's see that's not in my quick list so let's try going to e and unreal projects and uh, MH setup. There we go. I need to create a new folder here and that'll be called media and then double click into there and I'm saving the preview. So I need this to be named the same as the project. So I'm going to click on MH setup and that is the same name as the project, but media, I'm just going to add for the preview underscore preview and that will match that. Okay. Save that. And do the same for the icon. The icon is just the project name. So export and export and same folder. That's fine. I'll just select that to get the name and just delete the underscore preview and save that. So that is all set up. Now I can have those images for the uh, previews that we see in that dialog box. So with that, I'm ready to put together my template. So let me browse to this, I think is my project. Yep. Here's my Unreal project. And there's that media folder. Wonderful. So I'm just going to copy this folder, control C, and then go over to my Unreal Engine templates and paste into here. So control V and uh, this will copy this project's about a gig should take just a second. All right, so the folder is in templates, but we have a little bit of housekeeping to do. First, I'm gonna go into the project folder that I've just copied, go into config, and I wanna change the default game any. So I'm just gonna right click and open that up with uh, notepad here. 
And I just want to add a project name line to this. So project name equals, and I'll just call this MH setup. And so that way it'll show up with a name of project setup. And so I can close that. Yeah, we want to save it. And then I need a templates initialization file as well. So what I'm going to do is steal that from another template. I'm just going to go into in this case, first person and config. And here we see template defs. So I'm just going to uh, open that with notepad and open up with notepad and we'll do a file save as, and we're just going to keep that same file name, but I'm going to put it into my newly copied template. So image setup and config, and we'll save it there. I'm going to get rid of these uh, localizations for the various languages that I don't know how to read or type in. Uh, I'm going to give this a localized display name. And so MH setup, and I will uh, give this a name here, uh, some description. So meta human setup with plugins and other settings ready to go. Okay. Other than that, I'll leave everything as is. Oh, I'm sorry. One last update. The categories is where in the different pages in that opening dialogue, right? So we have uh, recent, we have games, we have film and video architecture, etc. So I am intending to put this into film and video, which is actually media and entertainment. So instead of games, which is this section, I want this to be ME for media entertainment. Now, if I wanted to go into architecture, that would be AEC. And if I wanted to go into automotive and such, that would be MFG. I don't know what simulation would be, but there we go. Now I'm ready to save this yet again. It's already in the folder that I need it to be in. So if I look here, I am going to go back to my MH setup and config and it's got the default and we are ready to go. So now I should be able to close this and relaunch Unreal Engine and see that template ready to use. So let's check our film and video and sure enough, there is that setup, many human setup with plugins and other settings ready to go. And that is all we need to do. Now this is gonna have all those plugins that I want, Vicon, Manus, Faceware, OptiTrack, everything's ready to go. And I can get to work without having to restart over and over again when I add those individual plugins. So I hope this helps until next time, have fun.